We're making our home a smart home, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Nest Protect smoke alarm. So stick around. Welcome to Rough Riders, I'm Jay Taylor. With it being winter here in Colorado and the trails are snowed over and the campgrounds are closed, I decided to get caught up on some of my uh, product reviews that, I, that I've been wanting to do. There were some great sales on Black Friday, so I picked up a bunch of smart devices because we want, my wife and I want to turn our home into a smart home. And so we're going to take a look at some of these devices and, and do some product reviews on those. Today we're taking a look at the Nest Protect smoke alarm. This is a smoke alarm and carbon monoxide detector. And I thought I'd do a quick unboxing on it. This is the wired model. So it uh, plugs into the existing house power. They do have a battery operated one as well. Comes with your typical user manual and all of that sort of thing here. You got a warning label and then installation instructions and all of that. Let's take a closer look at the smoke detector itself, what comes in the box. So here is the smoke detector. It's very solid. So I said this is the wired model, so it plugs in right there, but it also has a battery backup using, uh, looks like three AA batteries. And then it's got a speaker here. It's got a light pipe here that uh, lights up, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But this is very, very beefy, much more solid than your, your typical uh, you know, smoke, smoke detectors. But it's also a lot more expensive. Uh, and there is a switch on the center here, and we'll uh, cover that as we do the installation. The mounting bracket here. It is sealed. There is a thin um, seal here, foam seal here, and then a little bit thicker one there that just kind of prevents any sort of air leaks and stuff uh, for uh, you know better insulation sort of thing. You've got some wire nuts, screws, and then the uh, two wire harness adapter. Let's take a look at uh, some of the specifications of this thing uh, based upon uh, what Google provides. So this does use a smart app on your phone that actually uses the Nest application. So what you're going to see as we do some of these product reviews, there's uh, the Google Home application and the Nest application. This is not uh, integrated into the Google Home application yet, uh, so you do need to use this separately uh, with the Nest application. And so uh, with this uh, uh, smoke detector, it says that it detects both fast and slow moving fires and carbon monoxide, speaks in a friendly human voice, silence false alarms from your phone, and it automatically checks the status of the batteries. And that's actually really nice. One of the reasons why I bought this was because uh, one of my uh, smoke alarms in my house had uh, failed. It went off, it, it just was going off for no reason. Um, and it was you know, just driving us nuts. You'd get that occasional chirp when the battery was low and then you walk around the house for 20 minutes trying to figure out which alarm is making the noise and stuff. This does all of that for you. It checks it. You can check the status of the batteries and everything on your phone so you know uh, when, which alarm, if you have multiple alarms in your house, you know which one has the low batteries that you need to change, all of that kind of stuff. And it's always monitoring the health of the device. So that's, that's one of the really nice features about it. But as I said, it's quite a bit more expensive. I bought these at Costco in a two-pack for, I think it was a... Um, about 200 bucks. Um, I think they're normally $119 a piece, uh, so basically I got them for, for $99 a piece. Now, when you compare that to a regular smoke alarm and, and carbon monoxide detector, uh, you can get those for about 40 bucks. Uh, so this is quite a bit more expensive. But you know, those don't those other ones don't have uh, uh, you know monitoring systems and all of that sort of thing. It doesn't tie into your whole house. Uh, with the Google Home system and everything, so um, we thought we'd take a shot and try these out and see how they see how they work. So um, let's take a look at the functions of this thing. Now, based upon 
this uh, manual here. Let me figure out how it opened up. There we go. So you can see that there's that light pipe in the center uh, changes color. So when you're doing the setup, it's blue. When everything is normal, it's green. When it's detecting um, any sort of uh, fire and stuff, it turns yellow. That's slow moving stuff. And then, the, you know, that says, hey, you've got time to, to you know, call the fire department or whatever. But if it's red, it's like, get out right now. So it uh, kind of gives you different visual indicators for what type of uh, situation that you're in. And then it's also got a white light, so that way, uh, if you, it, you, know, you need to light up the hallway and stuff, it'll do that sort of thing as well. So um, that uh, um, is kind of the, the core functions. As I said, there's a speaker <coughs> integrated into this thing that makes the alarm sounds as well as the uh, uh, speaks to you in a friendly voice. So let's, let's go install this and walk through the setup process. So the first step on the installation process is to download the Nest app. I've already got it downloaded because I installed the other smoke uh, alarm upstairs. And so I've got uh, my doorbell and all that stuff already hooked up. So right now we're going to go into the Nest app and we're going to add another product. So I'm just going to click on the settings icon, the, the gear icon, and find the add product. And it's going to want me to scan the QR code on the back of the Nest. So we're going to do that right there. And now the app will actually walk me through the installation process. So it tells me the things that I need to have, the ladder and Wi-Fi password and all of those sorts of things. Now it asks me where I'm going to put the, the uh, smoke detector. And so I'm going to give it a custom name. I'm going to call this one the downstairs hallway. And then it asks me if I want to speak the name, which is fine. And I'm just going to tell it downstairs. And so now it's going to start connecting to my Nest product. And so now it tells me I need to wake it up. And by doing that, I just pull out this tab right here. Hi, from Nest. Hola, saludos de Nest. Now you can see... Press the button now for English. The light pipe. Para español, presione el botón ahora. Press the button now for English. So. Ready. Press to test. So now my dog's going to get upset at me, but. Ready. Press to test. This is only a test. The alarm will sound. The alarm is loud. The test starts in 10 seconds. Press to cancel. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This is only a test. Testing smoke. Testing carbon monoxide. Now obviously you don't have to go through those tests if you don't want to. The test is finished. Everything looks good. And so now we go back into the Nest app and we uh, continue uh, the installation process. Yeah, my dog doesn't really like the smoke alarms. So now it's going through the connection process. Connected. Okay. And so now the connection has been made. It asked me if I want to install another Nest product. I don't have any other ones to install, so now I just click on Next. And so now it gives me both the upstairs and downstairs hallways uh, devices as it sees both. It talks about the path light, all of those sorts of things. So I can then go on and do the sound check. I've already done all of that. And now I go through the installation of installing it into the ceiling. So now I need to go pull the old uh, smoke detector out and put this one up in its place. So let's go do that. Okay, before doing any sort of installation with any electrical stuff, go outside and make sure you turn off your breaker. I've already done that. That's why the lighting in here is going to kind of suck right now because uh, I can't turn on this light or anything. But we're going to go ahead and pull this down. Light 
that, and we're going to unplug it, just like that. <clears throat> and now on mine, I've got three wires. That I'm not going to need all three of these wires. I only need two. <clears throat> so I'm going to just cap one, one of the wires off that I don't need and then just use the uh, uh, positive or negative, the uh, white and black wires here. So let me undo these wire harness. Now let me go put the new one in. So with the new wiring adapter, I don't need this red one, so I'm just going to cap that off and put it back up there. And then now black to black, white to white. They've already got the wire stripped for you. Okay, so with those up, I'm going to pull down this old black back plate. And in my case, they've already got a junction box here. So I'm just going to screw the new back, back plate into that junction box. And then here's my new back plate. So I'm going to take the plastic or the paper cover off of there and then make sure you put it in the right way because you've got uh, essentially divots, cutouts here that hold onto the screw head. So you can see how the screw head pops through, whereas if I look at the other side, it won't grab the screw head. So it's got an indentation to grab the screw head. So let's put this up the right way. As I said, I've already got a junction box here, so I'm just going into the junction box. And now I'm just going to tighten it down. Don't over tighten. And now I'm just going to grab my smoke detector, plug in the harness, feed the wires back up into the junction box. Ready, downstairs. Press to test. And then this is just gonna pop on like that. Now let's get it squared. And we're done. Okay, so that's all there is to it. There's a tiny little LED here that's lit up green. That tells me everything's okay. I can see it in the app. Let's take a closer look at the app so you can see what I see uh, on the app side. Okay, so this is the home app, and you can see I've already got my uh, doorbell all wired up and everything, and then I've got my two detectors, my downstairs hallway and my upstairs hallway. Let's go in, take a look at some of the capabilities of this smoke detector. So first thing is it does a quick status check, gives you a, a short report of if, if the alarm has ever gone off or anything like that. I can see that for both the upstairs and the downstairs. I can see that everything is okay. I got a, a quick uh, checkup button here that I can launch and do a quick status setup. But what I'm going to do is go into the gear icon up here on the right so we can see some of the different features of the alarm. So the first thing you'll see is I can schedule a, a sound check on this thing. I can silence alarm with my phone or I can turn that off. And then I can go into each and customize each, the settings of each alarm. So, for example, if I go into the downstairs alarm, you can see I've got a path light. I can turn that to where it's on based upon motion. So when it's dark and somebody walks uh, underneath the, the detector, the, the, white, uh, the, the light pipe will glow white and light up the, the hallway area. Or I can set that to always on. They've also got something they call nightly promise. So the nightly promise, what that is, is that lets you know, like when you turn off the lights, that light pipe will glow green for, for a short period of time, just to let you know that everything's working properly. If there were a problem, then obviously it would glow yellow or red and then make uh, you know alarm sounds. The other thing that they offer is something that they call steam check. So my upstairs uh, detector is mounted just outside a bathroom. And so I can set that on so that it'll, it'll uh, help avoid any sort of false alarms by detecting steam. 
So that's a, that's a pretty nice capability. And then something else they offer is something they call heads up. And so heads up, that's uh, when it's detecting rising levels of either smoke or carbon monoxide, it will give you a, a warning notification saying that, hey, things are, things are starting to rise. So that way you can kind of look into that and see what the, the problem might be. You can also set the brightness levels of the uh, light pipe and then uh, you can change the language and you know check the Wi-Fi connection and all that kind of stuff. You see the location of where they are. If I go into technical info, it'll give me the details on the software that it's running, all of that kind of thing. And it'll also tell you the, the expiration date of when you need to replace the detector because uh, detectors do need to replace, be replaced about every 10 years because the sensors wear out. So uh, lots of, of really cool features that you don't find on traditional smoke alarms. And so that's what you're, you know, that extra dollar that you're, you know, dollars that you're paying for this thing go into the development of all these capabilities and features. So that's a quick look at the uh, uh, home, uh, the uh, Nest Protect app and uh, the features of the smoke detector. Let's uh, wrap this video up. Okay, so there you have it. There's the uh, product overview of the Nest Protect smoke alarm and carbon monoxide detector, as well as the installation process. Uh, overall, I think it's a, a pretty nice product. I love the construction quality. It's, it's very, very well built, very, very solid. It uh, doesn't feel cheap and plasticky like you do with the, uh, you know, the uh, regular stuff you pick up from Home Depot. Um, so overall, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, it's got a lot of great features, being able to see things on your phone. So if I'm out and about, my alarm goes off, it'll notify me on my phone so I could know to send uh, the fire department or anything like that. Um, you know, I love being able to check the status. So I don't have to spend you know 20 minutes walking around the house trying to figure out which alarm is is telling me the battery is low. So uh, so lots of great features. The big downside is uh, the, just the cost, right? Uh, you know, $119 MSRP. It's pretty pricey considering you can get a regular smoke alarm for you know $35, $40. So uh, that is the big downside. Anyway, there you go. There's my uh, uh, walkthrough of this, this particular product. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And we'll see you next time here on uh, Rough Riders.